Welcome to another reading of the book, Our High Calling, a daily devotional. Today's reading is entitled, Take God into Your Counsel, February 7th. I found a friend, oh, such a friend. He loved me ere I knew him. He drew me with the cords of love, and thus he bound me to him. And around my heart still closely twined those ties which naught can sever. For I am his, and he is mine, forever and forever. Take God into your counsel. Who his own self bear our sins in his own body on the tree, that we, being dead to sins, should live unto righteousness, by whose stripes ye were healed. First Peter 2.24 Christ bore our sins in his own body on the tree. What must sin be if no finite being could make atonement? What must its curse be if deity alone could exhaust it? The cross of Christ testifies to every man that the penalty of sin is death. Oh, must there be some strong, bewitching power which holds the moral senses, stealing them against the impressions of the Spirit of God? I entreat of you as Christ's ambassador to be diligent in securing the grace of God. You need it every day that you make no mistake in your life. You may feel that you are competent to manage yourself, to lay plans and execute them in your own judgment. This is unsafe for you or for anyone to do. I speak of the things I know. Take God into your counsel. Seek him for guidance. He will not be sought in vain. I entreat of you not to let these precious hours of probation pass without spiritual advancement. In no case allow your moral powers to become dwarfed. Heaven with its attractions is before you, an eternal weight of glory, which you may lose or gain. Which shall it be? Your life and your character will testify the choice you have made. I feel the more anxious because I see so many indifferent upon the subjects of infinite importance. They are always busy here and there about matters of minor importance and the one great subject is out of their thoughts. They have no time to pray, no time to watch, no time to search the scriptures. They are altogether too busy to make the necessary preparation for the future life. They cannot devote time to perfect Christian characters and in diligence to secure a title to heaven. If you have life eternal, you must be earnest and work to the point. Glorify God by choosing His way, His will. He will be your wise counselor and your fast, unchanging friend. I found a friend, oh, such a friend, so kind. 
than true and tender, so wise a counselor and guide, so mighty a defender. From him who loveth me so well, what power my soul can sever? Shall life or death, or earth or hell, No, I am his forever. I encourage you as I also encourage myself. Let us not be too busy to make the necessary preparation for eternal life. Let us not waste the final precious few moments of probationary time. Thank you for listening today and be sure to join me tomorrow for another reading from the book,